Welcome back to another mod spotlight video. We're back with Warband. We got ourselves a new mod. This time we're looking at the snow in the east. It is a World War II mod between the Soviets and the Germans. Let's take a look. So first you choose your difficulty. Choose your gender. And here we got the factions. Maybe you want to join the Nazis. I mean... You're free to do what you want, but you may be judged a little if you if you become a Nazi. I don't advise it. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of frowned upon. Don't do it. <laughs> you can join the Soviet Union. This, this is uh, after they joined the good guys, not uh, not before. You know when they were they were also going to invade everyone. Hmm, lots in a pattern here. Or you know. Why not take the middle ground? Go Finland. Try to defend. Defend against the uh, Russian hordes. And the Nazis. Got Romania. You got Hungary. Or. If you don't fancy any of them. Just don't join anyone, you know. Be a soloist. Conquer Europe yourself. Y you know. Why not? <laughs> okay. We got our character creation. I mean, just whatever. But I gotta admit, this music's catchy. <laughs> okay, what I recommend is I've taken a little look at this mod, and I've noticed majority of the guns require you to have a strength six stat. So, if you want to be able to use them all, I advise at the beginning. Putting two points into strength. I, I think every character starts with four in each stat. Just make sure you got the six in strength if if you are wanting to use those guns. And then we'll just put wherever. We we this is just a spotlight. We we don't care about our stats. And it's just dropped us into the middle of nowhere. We picked no faction to join. If you picked a faction, that would have decided your spawn point. But we don't have one. So, you got, so my issue with this mod is, straight off the thing, the map is too big for the zoom. I, I can't zoom out anymore. This is the maximum I can zoom out, but look how much, how widespread it is. It, I feel like the map, is, if I could zoom out more and get a better view of it all, fair enough, but... We get such a small portion of it on our screen, and you're panning for miles. So, we'll take a look at our starting equipment. Because we chose no faction, we just start off with a pistol, some ammo for it, just some basic armor. So you'll notice the pistol, don't need any stats for it. You're free to use it whenever. Brian noticed, oh this is a castle, we will we'll teleport to a city. View the underground market. Sometimes when you view a market, it'll say you didn't find one because it's underground. I, I think that's a nice touch. Okay. The guns. So. You got quite a few guns in all fairness. And uh, see, the bigger ones, the rifles and the machine guns all require six strength. Which is why I recommended that at the beginning. But... So, you got your rifles, you got snipers, you got machine guns. And it'll also tell you exactly what ammo you need for each one. We'll take a look at the armors. The armors are, as expected, just standard uniforms. You got your horses, your goods. Kind of cool when you have items that actually give come stats. Right, now we're going to take a look at the troop trees. So, these are your Germans. There's, you'll, you'll notice, there's variations in the troop in terms of troop to troop. But in terms of actually leveling them up and earning XP, they tend to only level up once or twice. So, the way the divisions tend to be split is... You have your rifleman, and then like you'll have a machine gunner. Maybe they're two different troop trees that can upgrade maybe once. Um, 
See, it's just a normal rifle, dude. Horse is a separate line. You have more rifleman. Rifleman to machine gunner, sniper. These looks like they might be your two standard troops, because it, it looks like they go more from more upgrades. And you got the Russians. It's the same layout. You have your basic infantry turn into a machine gun, a sniper. They do have a female line in the Soviet tree. And then I'm assuming this dude might be your generic Russian Soviet troop. And he can become any of them. Finland, straightforward. Yeah, you'll notice the pattern here. So, Romania, Hungary. Yeah. Every troop tree is essentially the same. You have your own variation of a standard infantry rifleman and... You upgrade them to either a machine gunner or a sniper, because the two contradict each other, hence why you pick one or the other. And that's essentially it with troop trees. Now for some bonus combat content. This is our pistol. Um, whoa. Throw the grenades! Okay, we got a hell of an arm on us. Oh, whoa, look at us go! Whoosh! Eat this! Die! We need to get in the NFL, lads. Star quarterback. Rocket launcher! Oh. God, that's loud and we missed. Pistol. Ow! And okay, let me let me get a bit closer. Yeah. Hey, right, you know what? Ah, buddy, come back here. Yeah. Oh, you know what? Eat nades. Whoosh. Yeah. Die. Now this time. We got the machine gun and the sniper. So, all right. Oh. All right. We got some snipers of their own. Eh. Hello. Hacks? Do I sense hacks? We had cheats on! <laughs> okay, we're back with the machine gun and the sniper. There were some hacks going on. We're gonna... It sounds bad, but we're going to shoot up a village? Um... I feel like wording it like that is a bit... Maybe you shouldn't, but... Bang! Bang! Another farmer! Another... Oh... Gun him down! Oh no... I might go into hell. <laughs> Maybe if we go in first person. Reload our sniper. There you go. As you can see, it works quite well. It's fairly accurate, if not a bit loud. Um. So, yeah, we we just shot up a village. Um. On that note. I think that's a good place to uh, leave this mod spotlight. <laughs> oh no, what have we done? What have we done? Well, as always, if you want to see more mods, give me a name of a mod and I'll have a look. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe, and until next time, 
See you.